Why does Boosie do only Vlad TV interviews? Famous hip-hop rapper and entrepreneur Boosie Badass, or famously known as Lil Boosie, is a big household name not only in the Louisiana Baton Rouge rap scene, but also in the entire rap industry. If there's one thing we can all agree on is that he has jointly been agreed upon in the entertainment industry as one of the realest OG in the game though only at age 40. Boosie spent a good part of his early career releasing hits that will forever be remembered in the rap game, like No Jewels, and more recently, Rocket Man, and a rapper song to all the rappers lost in the game. But my favorite would be Letter to Pac. That joint was really hard. That was a tribute song he did to the legend Tupac. This further solidifies his spot among real G's, as commonly called in the rap game. One thing we can take away from Boozy is that he has an unmatchable energy in every space he is in. I got the biggest show in the world. That might come out there any kind of motherfucker. Personally, from his uh, recent tussle with Charleston White, Kanye West, T.I., I can't say Boozy was wrong. Because as we all know, their both mentioned names are as controversial as the internet game itself. Boosty recently revealed on popular YouTube podcast Vlad TV that despite being globally acknowledged as one of the realest, he says he received little or no support from his cause. We should all know that Boosty seems to be very, I mean very, very close to all rappers. He posts rappers and songs, supports them. Going back to how much energy Boosty brings into the rap game, he talks about tweeting the richest man in the world, SpaceX. Twitter owner Elon Musk. Why should he be doing that? You should be wondering. I just tweeted, I I just tweeted to Elon Musk. I need the rocket space. Boosie in this video is still strengthening his spot in the hearts of hip hop fans by trying to shoot a video of the song Rocket Man. It might sound a little crazy, but yes, that's Pussy Badass. If you got to this point, it means something caught your attention. Please join our beautiful family by subscribing to my channel and maybe liking, commenting. That one thing you notice I'm seriously working on and every day we're getting better thank you back to the video <laughs> he released a couple of movies for example water boy featuring does the name sound familiar yes you got it right last year in the ysl indictment he took the stand to testify for young talks label vouching it wasn't a gang but rather a music label helping the young in the community of the land what is YSL to you? Well, to me, YSL is a family. To me, YSL is... Boosie says he received little or no support from his black peers. We can't really tell who exactly he's talking about or who he's referring to. As we all know, Boosie is close to rappers like Lil Baby, Da Baby, Kevin Gates, just to name a few. For the past decade, if there's one place we can all get an information about Boosie, that would be Vlad TV. Vlad seems to have been the only media supporting the black rapper from Baton Rouge. We can't tell if this is pure friendship or just business. Why not both? We can't tell. We are not taking away the fact that there are some black bloggers or some other entertainment blogs that support Boosie, but for the ones we know, Vlad is doing the most. I would let you all have your thoughts on why Boosie is not really supported by his folks. Boosie also revealed his life is being threatened too, though the rapper doesn't take it serious, but it cause for concern among the ones who really care. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment as we grow together to create our own media and content together. Thank you once more. I'll let y'all decide. Share your thoughts in the comment zone. Thank you.